It's a great day for hockey cards, and today we're going to take a look at Import Dragons, two and a half inch NHL collectible figures. But before we do that, I'd like to give a shout out to Fulton Cards here on YouTube. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll put a link in the description below. Definitely check it out. He's got a really unique style and has more information on players than I think any other YouTube hockey card breaker has. And that's why I like to watch his, his breaks. He does a lot of older product and uh, he gives you the rundown on a lot of the players. Um, one of my favorite channels. So check him out. Link in the description below. Give him a sub. Uh, well, we're also doing a contest right now. I'll go over the details of that at the end of the video. But what we got today are these collectible figures. These are apparently a game you can play. I actually saw these on Amazon, so I picked up 10 of them. This is completely different. <laughs> these obviously are not hockey cards, but definitely they are hockey collectible. If you guys like to see this kind of stuff, let me know in the description below. Uh, if you're like, ah, just stick to hockey cards, let me know that too, because uh, that's good to know, because that'll help determine what I upload and not. So... There's apparently a game you can play with these. Um, they're two and a half inch figures. This is the same company that makes the larger figures uh, the, the, that you see a lot everywhere. I think I had a McDavid on the channel at one point. Uh, so there's a couple different levels. There are the common players. Then there's silver base, uh, uncommon as they call them. And then there are the gold base rare so i thought these would be neat I, uh, to check out it's just something a little bit different so let's get right into it and let's see who we pull so these are those kind of mystery bag things you see at target or whatever a lot of times they're near the card cards where it's a um you don't really know what you're getting until you get it and Okay, what do we got here? So this is some type of game, so you get some other things with it. Let's see. So first, you get this little insert, uh, which basically tells you what you can buy. There's the larger figures that they sell. And here are the rules for the game. Does anybody actually play this game? And I guess they also have an app too, because that's on the package. We're not gonna go through the rules or any of that stuff. I'm just here for the collectible. And we pulled in our first one, we pulled a Mika Zibanejad. Uh, he looks like a black base common. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull one of these out to check out the quality on them. I won't do this for everyone because that'll make this video 40 minutes long. It's got a little base. I've got the player. Uh, I definitely don't think they take the effort to mold the face uh, as the player because that doesn't look anything like Mika Zibanejad. Uh, but they do have the name and number on the back. I'm guessing that's some kind of decal. And he's got a hockey stick here. Keep this hockey stick. Mika Zibanejad without a hockey stick is sad. Oh, wow, it's a really tight fit. How much of this video is going to be me messing with this guy? Well, it's super tight fit. I don't want to waste too much time on it. Um, and they have pegs that go into the base, and there you go. There's uh, Mika Zibanejad. Looks like he's getting ready to take a face off there. So that's what one of these looks like. I'm not going to go through all that effort for all these on video because I'm sure you don't want to watch that. Uh, kind of like a Lego base there. I wonder if these work with Legos to like create a rink or whatever. Anyway, there's Mika Zibanejad. And I'm guessing this disc is part of the game. So Mika Zibanejad. Let's go to the next one. So we're hoping, obviously, to pull one of the gold rares. Uh, I couldn't really find odds for them anywhere. Uh, they're not, they, they weren't on the package that I could see. All right, looks like we got a Dallas Star. So much packaging. So much packaging. 
We've got 47 for the stars, which is Alexander Radulov. So there's Radulov, and here's his disc. He's four points. He can disable all the fire pucks of your opponent. Whatever that means. Radulov. All right. There we go. Next. Can I open these without... Oh, yeah. They got a little Terry thing. That's nice. Don't need scissors. All right. Here we go. Here's our next player. And this is 19 on the flames. It's going to be Matt Kachuk, I think. Yep, Matt Kachuk. So I noticed on the back of his base it says limited edition. Oh, it says that. It also says that for Mick has been limited to almost 3,000, so pretty much not limited at all. Matt Kachuk gets to re-roll one X dice on a shot while playing with Johnny Goudreau. What are these things? He's only good if he's playing with Johnny Goudreau. I think Matt Kachuk would argue that point. Let's see if I can step it up here. Get through these. These are kind of neat. I think even if you don't play the games, they'd be nice to sit on a shelf. Not quite as big as the full-size ones. Uh, we've got Thomas Shabbat. He is black base, so he is just a standard one. Thomas Shabbat. Looks like we've got a Minnesota Wild. 84. I don't know who 84 is. Well, that's 64. So that's Grandland. There we go, Grandland. And he is a black base as well, so he's just standard. He gets a bonus for playing with Sack Parisi. Oh, there's also a little scratch off disc. I wonder if that's for redeeming this guy on the app. I don't know. I don't know much about this. If you guys play this game, let me know what you think about it. Is it worth playing? Should I download the app? Should I put a team together? on the Red Wings Mantha Anthony Mantha there we go it looks like they kind of repeat the positions for a lot of guys so it's probably just a generic a couple generic molds and then just give each one a new paint job because like I said before their faces aren't really sculpted so it looks like a lot of people get some kind of bonus for playing with somebody on their on their real life team. So I wonder if that's to encourage you to put real life teammates together. 81 for the Knights, that'll be Marsha Show. Marsha Show, absolutely. And he gets a bonus for playing with Flurry. I've opened uh, a few of these and we don't have any rares or anything like that yet. Garbage out the way. Florida Panthers 11. Panthers Le Huberdo. Huberdo. Jonathan Huberdo. Let me grab his disc here. And he gets a bonus for playing with. Vinny Trocek. So apparently there's multiple series of these too. Because if you'll notice, I don't think this series had uh, McDavid or Crosby. Oh, so here's a gold one. So this is a rare. This is um, Claude Giroux. What are the rares out of? So 750 on the rares. That's not super limited, but it is limited. Of course it's limited. If it's set to a certain number, it's limited. Reduce your opponent's face-off dice result by one. 
So, Jeru, the face-off master, I guess. Last one. It's a Chicago Blackhawk. Twelve. Twelve on the Hawks. Twelve on the Hawks. I am drawn a blank. Oh, Debrinket. That's why. Drawn a blank because he's a rookie. Uh, let's grab his disc and see what he does. He re-rolls one X dice on a shot while playing with Jonathan Taves. This would probably make more sense to me if I actually played the game. Uh, I might actually try and get someone to play the game with me. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but there's Ox to bring cat. So there we go. I guess our hit of that break is the gold Clojuru. So those are NHL import dragons. They're kind of neat. I don't know. Do you, do you guys like these kind of breaks? Do you want to see stuff related to hockey that isn't necessarily hockey cards if so i can start looking for some of that stuff too um but also as i mentioned earlier we are still running our contest for our 700 800 and 900 subscribers what you can win is one of these lots of cards um each one of these has a beckett high value of over 120 dollars all you have to do is check out the description below like this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow the instructions below, and it'll tell you how you can win this. This contest runs until the 17th, um, and then we'll draw a winner, and we'll post it on the channel. But that's all I got for you guys. So NHL Imports Dragon Break. What'd you think of the product? Did you like it? Didn't you like it? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please give us a subscribe. I love to see the subscriber numbers climb. It shows that there's a lot of interest in hockey card collecting and hockey in general. And as far as collecting goes, hockey cards isn't at the top of the hill. So hopefully I can do my little bit to try and elevate the hobby. But thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.